So now we're coming live to you, Fitness for Life PT. This is Mark and Brian. And we've had a special request from our mentor and our picture taker. -er. <laughs> and so on wrists, because in this day and age, everybody, I shouldn't say everybody, a lot of people have jobs working at working with computers. They're on their cell phones, they're playing video games, not to mention just other activities, sporting activities, recreation, hustling, but wrist, hands, fingers are involved in everything. Now, what that means though, and where problems arise is because so many of these activities, especially sitting at computers that are so static and nothing moves except the fingers. And so these joints, are underloaded, they're not moving well. And with that then, because we're basically a fluid matrix, all the fluids in the body gets stagnant. So then they're congested, doesn't want to move well. It gets sticky, it can cause the other, other tissues not to move well, all because we're not moving and we're in such static positions all the time. Second thing is what you need to remember is that the fingers are connected to the wrist, which is the forearm bone, which is half of the elbow. The other half of the elbow is the shoulder, which is the shoulder blade, which is connected to the upper back, which is connected to the hips, which all that means is you have to use it all. It all works together because you want to bring as many things into the party as you can. So as, many, as much help as you can with the whole body, because nothing works in isolation. You can't just pick a joint and say, okay, I need to just work that and think you're going to get better. You need to use the whole body for these. And so what we like to do is you train the whole body, you train for function. So everything contributes because in, in function, that's what happens. And so you train the whole body and what we do with these exercises, we have you use more motion than what you may normally use in your daily life because we're always looking for a buffer zone. So in other words, training more than what you normally would use because the one time you have to use that, your brain says, oh, you've been there, done that, you're okay. As opposed to, oh, I've never seen that before. I need to lock that up and now you have pain. So. The second thing is what we're very big on is the exercises. You do not work into pain. So we describe it like this. You've got a threshold. So we test that threshold. Where in the movement or the activity that you're doing does pain start? So if pain starts, say at this level, then what we do is train to this level. So you say just below that threshold and not cross into it. That way, then the brain looks at that and says, oh, that's safe movement. I can relax, let it go. And then pretty soon now that threshold starts elevating or getting higher. So now you can get more range of motion, but you don't train into it. So what we're going to do this month is give you three different types of exercises to do for the whole body, but with a wrist emphasis. So hopefully this will help you all. If you have further questions. All right. Why don't you say something? I think they should contact us at fitnessforlifept.com. Hmm.